We begin with the State House of Representatives who have just passed the package of bills aimed at reforming Detroit's public school system. Lawmakers worked through the night literally discussing the bills. We're going to get right to 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers with the latest on this. Shelly. This is a package of bills that gives $500 million to Detroit public schools to help with their cash crisis. But this was a very close vote. We're learning this morning that no Democrats supported it. Even a few Republicans voted against it. The Democrats say the $500 million given to DPS is just not enough. That we're putting DPS back in the same position, asking for more money in a few months. House Republicans say it will help relieve the school district of debt. The current state appointed emergency manager, Stephen Rhodes, says they need $800 million. These bills also throw out labor contracts as a new school district is formed. It allows uncertified teachers to teach and delays empowering an elected local school board. It was a heated debate before the vote in Lansing. DPS. Oh, yes. She's sick. She's been robbed. She's been raped by state control. Five emergency managers created this deficit, not teachers. I have never had a more difficult time providing a half a billion dollars in revenue. And to say it is absolutely means nothing? I think there is one thing, Mr. Speaker, we can agree on here. Bankruptcy is not an option. You can hear the emotion on both sides. They're flowing through the House all night. Again, this was an all-night session. This vote just happened early this morning. These bills are not law. They still must be passed in the Senate and then signed into law by the governor. We'll follow this developing story throughout the day. For now, reporting live, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News.